I know I haven't been around in a while and people are really pressuring me on my Tumblr and just like everywhere else that like I've been incredibly busy like on, during the week Monday through Friday I work for this um, company that I started working for like around two months ago it's bandofoutsiders.com um, I do their .com site which is their e-commerce online sales so if you haven't heard of Band of Outsiders it's basically just classic um, classic clothes not too trendy more style based um, really good stuff like they have it at like Rasson and stuff like that um, and then on the weekend I'm working for um, this company that I've been working for a while and I absolutely love working for them I mean I work so much during the week and I'm still um, I still want to work for them during the weekend because I like it so much so this is 11thmoon.com so 11thmoon.com if you go there it's very high end it's a little bit pricier but their sales section is really good and if you um, really like shoes like Dia Restrepo or Robert Clergery, definitely check it out. And I'm really passionate about that um, e-commerce in general, I guess, because I work for a couple online retailers. That's funny. Anyway, um, I decided to make a video on my general favorites of the moment. So here we go. So the first thing I want to talk to you about is the most important thing. Um, it's Amazon Prime. So what happened was I signed up for Amazon Prime um, just the free trial and I got suckered into paying for a whole year for a um, prime subscription or whatever But it's like 86 bucks and at first I was really pissed off But I didn't realize how much I used Amazon before that. I mean, I know it seems like I'm it, I sound kind of spend crazy, but it's actually I use it for random things like you know toothpaste and toothbrushes and like soap like I bought um I ran out of my uh, Dr. Bronner soap and I bought it there for a lot cheaper and with Prime it's free shipping and it gets there super fast so it's actually cheaper than running out to the store and getting suckered into buying a bunch of other things at like Target, you know? So I think it's definitely worth it. I buy every single year I buy a Moleskine which is, or a Moleskine, it's a daily planner. So, or I buy the daily planner, there's like a lot of different types of notebooks that you can buy. But I always buy the same one and um, I actually got it there for a lot cheaper. I got it for like... I think 15 or 16 bucks. So I ended up buying um, one for myself and I bought, look at my week, isn't that insane? <sighs> I started filing all my paperwork. So what happened was I noticed that my bookshelf was getting kind of crazy. I have all these papers everywhere. So I have like my bills, my like pay stubs, my like um, contracts and like um, just a lot of like receipts and car payments and just a bunch of stuff. So what I did was they, I went on Amazon once again and I bought um, a bunch of folders and a filing system so yeah it's really cool because you kind of you know I wrote bills on this one but um, actually I use my typewriter to write down all this stuff because I don't really like my own handwriting I don't think it's legible and it makes life a lot easier because I'm gonna do my taxes pretty soon and everything's there for me so that's good and you know I'm 25 it's about time that I get organized if you guys know Chelsea Wares from um, the YouTube channel, Chelsea, uh, so she has this online store and it's, you know, I'm kind of online store crazy, like I work at two e-com sites and I, I'm crazy about Amazon and I'm crazy about this online store from Chelsea Wares and um, anyway, she sells these these candles from Pomme Free, which is french fries in French, but it's, um, so the one that I got from her is teakwood and tobacco number four and it smells so good I mean oh my god it smells like here smell it definitely check out um, Chelsea wears her online store and um, I'll link it right down below as well and check out these candles too from Pomfrey. free I think you guys will definitely like it you guys remember my Jeffrey Campbell um, they're just like lace up basic heels what happened was recently I realized I was staring at them and they were looking so sorry and I've taken them to the shoe repair place like a million times, so they've been, you know, like taken care of a million times, but they're just falling apart. So I went ahead and purchased this pair right here, which looks almost exactly like it, but like my Jeffrey Campbell, but these are actually Chloe's. And I figured, I mean, I work so fucking much. I work like 60 hour, 70 hour weeks, you know? So, um, yeah, so I decided to. Yeah, I go ahead and purchase this, and this is like the most expensive pair of shoes that I've ever bought. But I mean, I hope I get use out of it. It's not really comfortable right now, but I'll break into it eventually. It's a little bit higher than my Jeffrey Campbell, maybe like an inch or maybe like half an inch. But 
I feel like I'll get used to it over time. Then also a more wearable shoe is this one right here that I recently got. This is, I mean, I absolutely love this. It's just such a cool shape and it's almost like the booties that I've been wearing for the past like few years or a couple of years. Um, but it has an open slit in the back and there's like a Velcro strap. But this one, it's actually navy blue. It's not black. So it kind of stands out one of, because they wear a lot of black pants. So it kind of stands out a little bit. And I absolutely love these. They're from Adetachier. And you can get these at La Croissant. But it's a really cool shape. I don't know, it's a classic shape, and you can wear it with just about anything, I absolutely love it. Now as for flats, I was really into the Jenny Kane Dorsey flat, um, if you guys follow me on Instagram, you, a lot of people commented on a picture where I was wearing those flats, they're like a bright blue color. Well anyway, um, they're a little uncomfortable on me, so I went ahead and bought another pair of flats, these are from Rachel Comey, and they're just... I love the color, I love like a caramel color, so yeah, that caught my attention right away. And I also got this for my work, so it was like a heavy discount, it's um, from 11thmoon.com. Alright, on the subject of caramel, because the shoes are caramel color, um, so I went ahead and got this tote bag, which I needed a tote bag for so long. So this one right here is from Filson, and um, I can keep everything in it, I can keep my, um, it's kind of big. But, I mean, I don't carry a purse every day, so um, this is more like a work briefcase or a work bag. But I can keep my laptop in here and like all my notebooks, even I pack a lunch every single day because there's nothing good to eat around my work. So um, I pack lunch every single day and I keep my lunch, my drinks, my coffee, everything fits in this bag. So I highly recommend it. It's just a like a zipper tote. So a few weeks ago I, I was feeling really down and I really didn't like my music taste. and. I wanted to find new music or just listen to like different bands and stuff like that. So I went to this record store near my house. It's called Fingerprints. And I went into the new releases and found um, this band right here, or this album. It's called Caramel by Conan Moccasin. And look at it, it just looks super cheesy. And I just thought it was so funny, like a joke. So I went on my phone and I looked them up. And they had like really mixed reviews, mostly bad. So I went ahead and purchased it and listened to it and the first listen I was just like this is kind of slow and it's a lot of like random sounds but I can get into this and then it really like the second time I heard it it really grew on me and I've been listening to it since so I actually bought other albums from the same band Conan Moccasin or Conan Moccasin and um, they're all really different like the first the first album was very bluesy kind of and then the second one was more psychedelic and this one's more like soul and like almost like very white but it's so fucking cheesy it was really good and speaking of music i started an account with uh, radio which is rdio.com um i listen to this at work all the time whenever i'm doing data entry or like just photo editing and stuff like that but it's really cool because you don't have to listen to commercials and you can listen to full albums and then I've also been um, on Spotify a lot lately too, and I've put a lot of like, uh, what is it called? A lot of playlists together. So if you guys are on Spotify, hit me up because I would love to listen to whatever you're listening to as well. Because I I would love to listen to new music. It's just I I kind of listen to a lot of the same stuff and I get stuck in a rut. So it's nice to explore a little bit. And the last thing I wanted to show you is this right here. This looks like a, an I pod shuffle but it's actually a remote to my Apple TV I recently got one because my roommate has a, um, a Wii and it, I think it just crashed one day and on Amazon it went all the way down like Apple TV is usually like 99 or 100 bucks or something like that it went all the way down to like 70 something I like Apple TV because you can share your screen like um, even if like something doesn't work on Apple TV itself. You can use it from your computer and play it on the big screen, so it's pretty cool. So I definitely suggest getting Apple TV if, you know, if it's in your budget. So yeah, those are all my general favorites currently. So I think I'm going to make a beauty favorites video, like hair and beauty favorites, next. So um, I just need to put a little list together. But thanks for tuning in, thanks for being so patient with me, and um, I will see you guys later. Peace.